All right, guys, and we are going to dump it inside. Oh my goodness, so good. Okay, so just like that. Just like that, okay? And this is going to suck all of that extra oil, the excess oil, and it's so good. And our food is pretty much ready. This is how we do it in Africa. Yes, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. are going to be making turkey tail so turkey tail is very very yummy if you know how to make it if you know how to cook it and these things used to be very cheap they used to be like I remember maybe six years ago they used to only be like two dollars for um, what how many pounds is this for two pounds yep for two pounds now they are almost nine dollars. Unbelievable how expensive things are. But I'll show you how you can make it so quickly, so easy, and without lots of ingredients. And the way I make my my turkey tails, everyone loves. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's not waste any time. Let's get started so we can eat, so we can enjoy. It, this is very easy to do. The hardest part is this part right here. It's basically cutting the cutting the meat into smaller pieces. This is really like the hardest part, but everything else is very easy because it has some bones, so it makes it a little bit hard. Make sure you have a very sharp knife so this process can be very easy for you. So basically i'm just cutting them into smaller pieces the smaller um the smaller what am i trying to say <laughs> the smaller the easiest so that our ingredients can uh you know penetrate easier so this is just what i'm doing so just go ahead and watch and um this is really like the hardest part all right my kuruchus so i have washed my my meat very well okay so i've washed everything and now let's go ahead and start with um all of the ingredients we are going to be needing so make sure after you cut them up you wash them very very well uh yeah so you just wash it. you know how to wash meat so just wash it very good so you can start cooking okay let's go all right my lovely people so i have my meat here and i have two I have two green onions here okay two green onions I have one medium red bell pepper divided by four and I use one fourth I have two large garlics and I have a medium medium onion I divided by two and I use one half okay so we have garlic green onions and i also use a stick of celery divided by three and i use one third okay so this is what i need and i'm going to be putting in the pot voila just like that okay and i'm going to be adding start with one tablespoon of salt Okay, one tablespoon of salt and let's put a little bit of water, okay? So just a bit of water, just like that. And turn your heat on 
medium okay so medium heat and we are going to be putting um all right so after uh the salt i'm going to be putting a little bit of nutmeg just a little bit don't don't put too much okay so a little bit of nutmeg and i'm going to be putting a bay um leaf I, i'm only gonna put one okay one bay leaf so I'm putting a bit of bay leaves. I put two because they're small, so I'm gonna put two. Voila, and we are going to cover, and we will be coming back. Uh, probably come check on it after about 10 minutes, okay? We're gonna come and check after 10 minutes, and it should take about 20 to 25 minutes before it's ready. It doesn't take such a long time. All right, my kukuruchus, so, I'm going to, we are going to eat it with plantains, okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and make some plantains, okay, we're just going to fry the plantains, and this is how I'm cutting it, pretty easy, very easy, and we can, uh, we usually love to eat it with um, this African dough called kwanga. It's very good with kwanga. I know you don't know what it is, but it's so good. But I was so lazy to go get some kwanga, so we're just gonna eat it with plantains, okay? And of course, I had to drop one. I dropped one plantain. If you've ever had fried plantains before, oh, you are missing out. You are definitely missing out. So, I'm just gonna, when I'm done cutting it, I'll be putting a little bit of salt, mix it, and then we are going to deep fry. Alright, my beautiful people. So, this is about after 10 minutes, okay? So, let's come and check. Yes, it's cooking just perfectly. It's cooking perfectly, guys. So what I'm going to do in about five minutes, I'm just going to, I'm going to smash the garlics, okay? We are going to make sure we smash the garlic so the flavors can penetrate our, our chicken. Okay, let me show you very closely so you can see how this is beautiful. Okay. So, we have about 10 to 12 more minutes and then it's going to be ready, okay? Alright, so these are my plantains. I'm just going to put a little bit of salt, just like that, and I'm going to mix it up. This is how I mix it, okay? So, shaking it by kind of bouncing it. I'm bouncing so all the salt can mix without smashing our plantains okay and then i'm just gonna fry them that's it all right my cucarachas so now i'm going to show you this is ready okay so this is after about 27 minutes and i'm gonna show you how it's so thick now you see that you see that so this is exactly what we want i cannot explain to you the smell and the taste it's absolutely yummy you can eat it like this already if you want but we are going to do my fun part okay we are going to sexify we are going to make it sexy here in a moment okay but this is the texture you want to get it's like creamy and thick and now we are going to go ahead and saute with some special ingredients, okay? All right, my lovely people. So now, this is what I want you to do, okay? This is what we are going to do, okay? We are going to remove the meat. I'm going to be using this, okay? We are going to remove the meat only because we don't want to put all of the sauce, okay? But I'll show you exactly what we are going to do. But this is the part where you are going to remove 
the meat and leave the creamy salsa alone for a little bit. Okay, so just like that. Guys, on a medium heat, put some oil. Just a little, it's a small amount of oil, okay? Because turkey tail is already, has lots of grease already, okay? So, we are going to wait for the oil to heat up, and then we are going to be sauteing our, our meat, okay? guys so we are going to go ahead and dump this inside okay so this can have like a little bit of a um how can i say like not not necessarily a golden color but it can fry you know what i mean so it can have that kind of brownish color okay and then we are once it has a brownish color we are looking for we are going to put some onions inside okay so what i've done i have diced onions very thin so basically very thin roundly okay just like you see so roundly very thin and i'm going to put it inside of the meat here in a second it is so good and the smell is amazing the taste is even better jumping a little bit but you see the color right it has changed so put your fire or your heat put it at low and then we are going to go ahead and dump our onions just like that okay we put our onions and going to put a little bit of chili pepper okay chili pepper if you are not afraid of spicy okay because this is going to be a bit spicy but we love it spicy so and it's gonna give it a very nice color okay so a bit of spice I mean a, a bit of chili or you can use cayenne pep uh, pepper I love using uh, chili pepper and you see the color right very beautiful look at that and what I want you to do at this point is we don't want it to be dry okay remember our our creamy sauce we had left so you put a little bit of that so this can be super tasty and amazing okay look at that you see that this is amazing and it's so good okay and i just want to add a little bit more chili pepper again if you don't mind spicy okay if you don't like spicy then don't add any And we are almost done here. This takes only about five to six minutes. Okay? So I have my bowl. This is where I'm going to be putting the my meat. Okay? And use this, the film cover. Okay? We are going to be using this to give it this authentic look and also to serve all of the excess oil okay 
and you can triple if you wish. So just like that, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and get my meat and put it inside. And make sure you wash your hands, right? Always wash your hands before cooking, while you're cooking, you know what I mean? Always keep your hands clean. Alright guys, and we are going to dump it inside. Oh my goodness. So good, okay? So just like that. Just like that, okay? And this is gonna suck all of that extra oil, the excess oil, and it's so good. And our food is pretty much ready. This is how we do it in Africa. Yes, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. Now is it, it's time to enjoy. We can finally enjoy. Okay, I'm going to just remove this, the bay leaf. My lovely people, it is time to enjoy. Let me show you closely, okay? Let me show you. Look at this. We have some dendo, <laughs> turkey tail, dendo, pilipida pusher. Mm. So good. Mm. Just try for your film. Give me shot up. Good guys. That's a little bit of um it's pepper. My sister, my sister makes the best powder pepper. It's so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I was craving this. I don't even need plantains. I can just be eating this. That's it. Just like that. Mmm. Pili pila pusher. 